98 or so, and I was coming in home really late. I used to drink a lot more with the directors back then. I was a lot younger, I kind of hold up. But uh, in the morning, I'd like try and sneak into the office and like, you know, 10 o'clock, sometimes 11 o'clock, sometimes 12. And uh, Michelle Mayhew saw me one morning, goes, oh, Colin, you must be going to bed when I'm waking up. Absolved. <laughs> so uh, anyways, uh, it's been a wild week and we still have more mayhem to come. Tomorrow night, we have vampires, the nasty, ugly kind with Stakeland, Jim and with Stakeland. <laughs> and then we go back to Asia for a slice of Hong Kong action with Dante Lam's Fire of Conscience. <laughs> and I guarantee you that is going to be one loud movie. Um, but uh, now tonight's film, uh, before I, I went to, I was lucky enough to, this year to go to Hong Kong for a, uh, this big film event for the industry called Film Art, where we look at films, we meet people and find out what's coming for the rest of the year. And just before I got there, I found this trailer on YouTube. This is one guy, Mr. Jones 98 or whatever, a whole bunch of Asian film trailers. And I was just kind of going, oh yeah, I saw that, oh yeah, I saw that. And then, what's this? <laughs> and back then it was originally called uh, Legend of the Kitchen Knife. And so I went, what the heck is this? And so I went to Hong Kong with a mission to find how I could see this film. Where could I get more information about this film? And then lo and behold, it turned out that the producer of the film uh, was someone that I've met in the past. Uh, Daniel, where are you? Daniel, stand up. Oh, he's right here. This Screening for me in um, in this uh, production office. It was a secret screening. We, we went off into uh, into Hong Kong uh, and uh, took me to the screening office. But it was a production office. It was actually the production office, which was the base for the Dark Knight. <laughs> and so there was still lots of Batman paraphernalia around. And I watched this film on a small screen, and there was lots of temp effects, and it was something different, very different. And at that point, the name of the film was. Leave it to Cleaver. <laughs> Which is even funnier because none of them have been seen or even heard about Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I, I, I saw it and I loved it and I invited it right away. And uh, it's actually kind of a bit of a historic moment because in the years of Midnight Madness since it started in 1988, we have never had a director from mainland China. This is the first film we've ever had in Midnight Madness from mainland China, and this is because this is a deal changer. This changes what you think of mainland China and And uh, on top of that, it's the first time we've ever had a director whose name is one word. Let me introduce you to Wu Er Wu Er Shan. So what should I say? Well, thank you for coming to my movie. Um, thank you very much. I thought Colin was going to ask me some questions now. <laughs> so I originally was really nervous um, because I, I knew that I had to face a, 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 a huge audience. Um, so I came last night to watch a movie and I realized how young and um, energetic an audience you guys are. So <laughs> Uh, 
I think the atmosphere is very similar to when I was back in college. Um, we had you know screenings in college in a college theater. How familiar. So um, so yeah, it's great. I just feel like I'm I'm right at home. Uh, so this is a comedy. Um, I hope you like it. But the problem is comedy, as you know it, is tightly related to the language it's presented in. So I'm a little worried that something might, some things might be lost in translation. But um, I hope you will find it funny. If it doesn't make you laugh, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Go back to ancient China, where there are swordsmen who would fight with the virtues of valor and honor. But you know what? They also had to eat. Get ready for the butcher, the chef, and the swordsman. Thank you very much. Sponsors RBC and Blackberry, and to our major public supporters, the Government of Ontario, Telephone Canada, and the City of Toronto. Thank you to our many supporters for the generous donations to our annual campaign and to the TIFF Bell Lightbox campaign. And how many people here have been to uh, TIFF Bell Lightbox so far? Check it out because there's amazing stuff there right now. They've got the Essential 100 Gallery exhibit and they have not only the helmet from Videodrome. <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you, I was really fortunate. I got to take Guillermo del Toro through there on Sunday. Whoa. And when he saw that, actually here. This, this is how good Del Toro is. <laughs> We're standing in the lobby, and he's like, just in awe of it all. And I go up to him like, so if we do our job right at the end of this tour, you're gonna have to change your pants. <laughs> and he goes, I have to do that now. I just had a little squirt. <laughs> uh, check it out, and uh, actually, they just asked me to do some Halloween programming at Lightbox. <laughs> We will be doing, I think it's on the 30th, we're going to be having a double bill with Vincenzo Natale, the director of Slice Pick, where we're going to show Mario Baba, a 35mm print of Mario Baba's Planet of the Vampires, on a double bill with Alien. <laughs> and then even before that, uh, Louis Blanche, they've asked me to program something there, in cinema number one, a little thing that I'm calling Grind Box. <laughs> So it's going to be a loop of probably 90 minutes of sleazy fun trailers all night long. So check out Lightbox. And this film is eligible for the Cadillac People's Choice Award, but more importantly, this film is eligible for the Cadillac People's Choice Midnight Madness Award, so vote! We want to thank the Midnight Madness sponsors, Cineplex Entertainment and Space! And of course, you guys are watching a swordplay film. If anyone pulls out a cell phone in front of you, Chop off their heads. <laughs> because we want to remind you to please turn off your cell phones, blackberries, and cameras and put them away. Recording of this film is not permitted, and please note as part of our anti piracy <laughs> security measures. Pyro night vision technology may be used during the screening. Okay, get ready to go back to an ancient land for some sword play. Some damn fine cooking. You'll want to go to Chinatown afterwards. <laughs> Cheers.